is open, your desktop can get really crowded. So what if you could have multiple desktop workspaces to organize your programs? I'm Sharon Vaknin for CNET.com, and today I'll show you how to get multiple desktops running in Windows. There are lots of programs that do this, but Dexpot has the most features, including the ability to password protect different workspaces. To get started, download and install Dexpot from download.com. Launch it and you'll immediately get four desktops. To rotate through them, hold down Alt and then press the desktop number. So Alt 2 would give me the second desktop and Alt 3 the third and so on. At first, they'll all look the same, but as you use them, you'll be able to see the difference. From here, just launch applications within any workspace and treat it like a normal desktop. If you have something on your main desktop that you want to transfer to a secondary workspace, right-click the Dexpot icon in your taskbar and select Desktop Windows. Here, drag and drop open programs from one desktop to another. Or an even faster way is to right-click the window you want to move, go to Dexpot, Move, and pick the desktop you want to move it to. If you find that four desktops isn't enough, you can add more by right-clicking the icon in the taskbar, select Settings, and change the number at the top. If you want to reserve certain desktops for more personal or private work, set a password. Open the taskbar menu and select Configure Desktops. Then select the desktop you want to protect and enter a password. Dexpot will then ask you to create a master password too. Pick one and you're set. The next time you navigate to that selected desktop, you'll be prompted to enter a password first. Now that you've got the basics down, you can play with some customizations. For more visual switching, you can add your desktops to the taskbar. Just open the menu, go to Settings, Plugins and Extras, and select Taskbar Pager. You'll see previews of your desktops in the taskbar, which you can click to select. I also enabled a plugin called DexCube, which adds a cool 3D effect when you switch windows. And as you can tell by looking at the Dexpot settings, there are so many ways to configure this program. You can customize things like your shortcut keys, change startup settings, and decide what happens when you double-click the taskbar icon. To find out what each setting does, check out the guide in the notes section on my Facebook page. And for more how-to guides, visit howto.cnet.com and CNET TV. For CNET, I'm Sharon Vaknin, and I'll see you on the interwebs.